The 805 Focus is brought to you in part by Nonprofit Connect. Nonprofit Connect provides superior leadership tools and resources so nonprofit leaders and board members can make valuable decisions to move their organization forward to a sustainable and vibrant future. More information on services online at nonprofitconnect.org. Welcome everyone to 805 Focus. I'm Dr. Cinder Sinclair with Nonprofit Connect and we will be bringing you the latest on your favorite nonprofits. So get ready to be inspired. Our special guest today is Ernesto Paredes and Ernesto is CEO of Easy Lift Transportation. That's right. Welcome Ernesto. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Oh, I'm so glad because you know what? Now I've got you cornered and I get to hear all the latest and greatest about Easy Lift because oh. I know you guys may provide such important service for our community and I have a feeling you do things w with Easy Lift that people don't know about. Well, so. thank you. First of all, thanks. It's always a pleasure to, to, to be with you and with your audience to be able to share what we are doing. And actually, this year is our 40th anniversary. Oh, wow. I know. It's been 40 a long years. 40 years. And of those 40 years, I've been with the organization for 25 of the Gee years. Gee whiz. So it's been interesting, and when I came on board uh, back in 91, it was just after the passage of the Americans with Disabilities Act. Oh. So I was really at the ground floor here locally to see how we were going to uh, provide specialized transportation for our community. So having that understanding from the very beginning with men the, the mentors and the, the, the true advocates at the time, that really we're looking out for people with disabilities, people who are wheelchair users. Mm -hmm. As you recall, the MTD bus back in the day had three big big steps you'd have to get oh, walk up right. to. Yes. So a person using a wheelchair or a mobility device couldn't really access even MTD. And as great as MTD was at the time, for certain communities, it wasn't available. Thus, Easy Lift, which was a project of the Easter Seals, Oh, gosh. Started a project. They thought, let's provide transportation for these individuals. And what they did is they got a RV, and they had a group of volunteers that would literally lift up people in their wheelchairs onto oh, the RV. Oh, my gosh. And that was the, the most crude, but only that, that's the way this organization started, in that way. And uh, fast, uh, flash forward to where we are today, we have 33 vehicles. We serve all of South Santa Barbara County, mm -hmm. so from like the Winchester uh, mm -hmm. area mm -hmm. all the way down to the Carpentry uh, County line and all points in between. So $3.50 will take you anywhere in, the, in, oh in this gosh. South County. Yeah. So it works out really well, especially people for on a, a fixed income mm -hmm. or people are trying to go to medical appointments to the, the daily activities that you and I will have to take advantage of. Uh, in fact, just recently, uh, we were able to take some, you know, a lot of students to get their graduation, to get to, to get the graduation. Oh, yes. At UCSB, and it's one of those things that we provide transportation for anything and everything for people who are uh, transit dependent. So it's been great. Gosh, I had no idea that you started with the American Dis for Disabilities Act. Yeah, yeah, it started way back when, and you know, since then. You know, we've seen and we've worked with so many different organizations. You know, being you and I, we love our community. and We go out and find out what our brothers and sister organizations are doing. And when I was the director for about four years at CASA, Court Appointed Special Advocates, mm -hmm. I learned about so many children in the foster care system mm -hmm. who needed transportation oh. to programs and services that their foster families couldn't provide because yeah. they're working. Uh -huh. And a lot of the group homes couldn't provide because they didn't have the staff to do so. Right. So when I returned after I re returned after uh, CASA came back to Easy Lift, I started a program what's called CAT, Children's Accessible Transportation, <laughs> and the idea was to provide transportation for other people's programs, oh, okay. so that they can have children come to their programs and services, so that they didn't have to get in the transportation business. Let the professionals that makes do what they so do. so much sense. It, it, it makes sense, and it's, it's it's been received very very well. So and I'll bet you there are a lot of people who don't know that you're doing that. You know what? There are, and when they find out, they the demand just keeps coming through. So it, it comes back to again, it's a dollars and cents. We have the we have more demand than we have supply. 
know, we I wish we had more vehicles to provide all the transportation needs out there. So we okay. can't be the solution for everyone, but we're definitely part of the solution. So do you see Easy Lift expanding in the future? Quite honestly, I hope not. Oh. Just the opposite. I actually would love to see that the demand on our services reduce because I really want to look, I'm looking to the future and seeing how transportation is being delivered to not just Santa Barbara, but across the world for that matter. Drone service, for oh, example. Oh, gosh. I mean, all this technology is happening right now. Mm -hmm. And I can't tell you how many of our passengers are simply going to the pharmacy to pick up a prescription. If we had drone services, when we have drone services, yeah. that will reduce the need to have to get a vehicle to go to okay, CVS sure. or to yep, Walgreens yep. or the pharmacy of choice to pick up simply a prescription. And they get there and they realize, well, one of your prescriptions is ready. The other oh, one golly. isn't. Come back tomorrow. Right, right, right. So then that means they have to kind of you know, do it all over the next day. So really looking at how services are provided to the community. Um, when I started back in the early 90s, so much of our demand was in the Santa Barbara proper area mm -hmm, around mm -hmm. Cottage Hospital, around mm -hmm. the downtown. Well, with the development of the Goleta Valley, that's really, and Carpinteria, oh, yeah. it's really stretched out the demand for our services. So a ride that was typically going to take anywhere between 8 and 12 minutes, it's now taking closer to 20 minutes because it's going sure. further. So. You know, it, it's, it's tricky to kind of always keep up with the demand because, we have, again, we have so many people trying to access our programs and services. So Gosh. it's constant. What a success story <laughs> and what great. fun. It is fun. And I have to tell you, when I first came up to Easy Lift, I, you know, I, I thought to myself, can there be anything less sexy than <laughs> transportation? But, you know, you hear the stories and the difference you make of people. We take for granted how we, get, how we got to the studio today. We get in our vehicles and we go wherever we want. Yeah, right. And there's a segment of the population that can't simply do that. And thus, Easy Lift is truly you know, one of those urgently needed uh, systems right. for them. So it works out so that they can come participate. And now, you know, when we, early in the 90s or 80s for that matter, you rarely saw someone using a wheelchair downtown. Mm. Now you see people in wheelchairs constantly with the curb cuts. And uh -huh, again, with uh -huh. the ADA, it made such a, it was such great legislation. Yeah. that allowed individuals that would typically would have been left in the back rooms of, of, of people's yeah, homes yeah, yeah. now participate in our community. Gosh. I mean, now you see you go, you go to a grocery store and they might be helping, you know, help bag your groceries or greet you at the store. So it's, right. we, we've come a long way, yet as people are aging, the demand on our service just keeps getting higher and oh, higher. Oh boy, isn't yeah. that the truth? Yeah, it really is. So how does a person arrange for a ride from Easy It's a great question. What people usually will do is they'll call, Something will happen in regards to they feel, I can't drive any longer, or okay. they, you know, something, a, a significant life event happens. And they will call us and they find out, how do I get to my doctor's office? Usually it's a doctor's appointment first. It would kind of triggers people needing transportation. And they will, will do a, a simple phone screening and find out if they're eligible. And the idea is that now we're trying to keep people off, but just making sure that, again, our, our supply is limited. We want to make sure it's really for people who can't use the MTD bus. That's really the limit. Oh, test. gotcha. So if you can use the MTD bus, but you've never done it, uh -huh. we'll help you. We'll, we'll go on a ride along up on the, and go on the, the routes and mm -hmm, figure out where you mm -hmm. need to go. Because really, with that, you don't have to make a ride reservation, obviously. And it's a lot cheaper than the $3.50. Mm -hmm. It's only $1.50 to go on with them. Okay. So, so it's, it's, it's better to take the MTD bus. And our system is really, really good. But in the instances where people can't negotiate or can't get to a bus stop, mm -hmm. then Easy Lift and our dialer ride system is probably something for them. That is so cool. So yeah. you just really work with each individual person and you screen them mm -hmm. and you actually take them on the MTD? We, we, we will take them on the MTD bus and as their, as their health maybe deteriorates, then yeah, maybe their, the dialer ride system would be something just for them. So they can continue their lifestyle, whether, again, it's going to a, a volunteer opportunity, trying to access, again, whether they're going to the bank, going to the retail stores, going to all the great cultural events we have. Mm -hmm. So there's no limit where someone could go. It's not just for medical appointments. Wherever you and I go is where people who use our dollar ride system can go. So it's, it's really for anyone and everyone that just can't use the MTD bus. Gosh. Yeah. And so I'm, I'm hearing a lot of collaboration with all kinds of organizations and agencies and all? You know, the collaborations is something that we've, we, we pride ourselves because organizations realize the expense 
of transportation. You right. forget the, how, the cost of not just maintaining a vehicle, but the cost of having a, a high level uh, driver, mm -hmm. a qualified driver that has the special licensing and the, the background right. checks and the drug, the, the, the drug testing Nowadays, has to be involved. Oh gosh, yeah. it's, it's incredible all the, all the compliance that has to happen. So we do that really, really well. And we know so many of our brother and sister organizations do their program really well. So we thought, let's collaborate so you don't have to be in yeah, the transit yeah, business. Yeah. So. That is great. And so yeah. is Easy Lift a 501c3? It is, yeah. So we have, you know, we, we are a nonprofit, like a lot of our programs that have, and we do have our traditional fundraising efforts. Okay. Uh, we will go to the community and ask for, you know, solicitations or the foundations. Uh, we have a lot of very generous individuals that once they start using our service, they realize the value and they want to give back to the yeah. organization. Oh, that's so cool. You know, we've had people actually donate uh, wheelchair modified vehicles back to us oh, wow. when they no oh, longer oh. needed it. Someone maybe passed away and they yeah. thought, we know that EZIP will take full advantage of that vehicle. And we sure do. So it's, it's been great. And people really look out for our organization. We have a very good business model in regards to the organizations and the contracts we work with so that we can maintain the highest quality of service uh, to this community. So it's, it, it works great. really, really well. So a person can go on your website mm -hmm. and they, you probably have a donate now button. We have a donate now and we have a, if they, if they want to apply for uh, services for us, oh, so okay. for our dial ride services, if they okay. want to see if they are eligible for the ride. Okay. So either way, absolutely. So it's something that we want to stay in, in close communication with the community. And the way we see it, it's, it's your transportation, it's their transportation, it's not our transportation. So we will adapt to what the needs of the community are. Mm -hmm. It's, we're really a community service. Yes. So that when, you know, although we have our policies, our policies will change with the need of the community. So again, we, we really uh, like to be out in the community so we know what the needs are. So. Gosh. You know, we have a couple minutes left and mm -hmm. I would love to hear, I bet you are full of stories. Stories about people who have been helped uh, by Easy Lift. We, I'd love to hear one of those. You know, stories. there's so many great stories, and again, I could go from so many. But one of them was it's 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 a it's a it's a sombering story from the standpoint of we had a um, a partnership with um, Dream Foundation, oh. and one of their dreamers is an older gentleman, and he was getting to the point where he was going to pass away soon, and his last wish was to see his son. Mm -hmm. Uh, his son is is in a state prison oh. in in um, in Hanford, California. So it's it's a ways from here, and that's traditionally not our service area. But right. we thought this is something that we have to be able to serve. Again, it's it's something that someone in our community. It was a wish with a partnering organization. Yeah, so, what a collaboration! You know, so we were able to. They were able to set up you know, the visit, but they just didn't have the transportation to get there. And a the person was using a wheelchair, and they thought. Only Easy Lift can help us, oh, and we gosh. did. And it was wonderful to be able to do that for this gentleman oh, and for the son too. So, that is a great story. Yeah, thank you. I mean, going above and beyond, whether it's collaboration or with one particular individual with it's a community like member. That. Yep, it's a community yep. member. Yeah, and that's why we're here. Gosh, Ernesto, thank you for all the good work that you do, and that you've been doing for so long. Oh, thank you. And thanks for being with us today. My pleasure. And thank you for joining us on 805 Focus, and we'll see you next time.